Katie, have you ever had a fake tan? Yes, as an adult. <laughs> have you? <laughs> Did it not when I was distract you from your learning? Did it uh, cause you problems? No, but when you have a fake tan, what you're doing is you're projecting yourself, aren't you? You're attracting attention towards yourself. That's your focus. That's why you wear it. Uh, but when children at school, they go to learn. They go for knowledge. Have you and met any teenagers? Have you met to teenagers? Have you I might teenagers? want them yes, to lots. go to school <laughs> to learn. Mm -hmm. But they think it's their social life. They well, want to go to project themselves, well, don't they? Outside school, let them do so. But when they're at school, they go there to learn, to learn the subject, so they have great opportunities in life. So when they do project themselves in life, they've got the knowledge and they can apply themselves to all sorts of things. There you go, Francine. I don't think there is anything wrong with um, learning with a bit of fake tan on or a bit of makeup on. At the end of the day, you're more confident. If, I say, if, if, if there was a policy here and they say, Charlotte and Kate, you can't come to work with any makeup on or any of your fake tan, you would feel self-conscious looking in that ca camera. <laughs> and the thing is, when you get to a certain age and you get to 11, 12, you become very conscious about your appearance. You have blemishes. You have sometimes dark circles under your eyes. You feel pasty. I mean, my daughter wouldn't take her tights off in year six, I remember, because she's, she, her legs were too white, she said. Well, what would be wrong with you saying, it doesn't matter about your legs to your daughter, you don't need to cover up with fake well, tan and giving her the confidence to go ahead and play the sport or well, do what she do needs to do anyway. But when she got to secondary, in it primary. became an issue when she got to secondary school because all the other girls were putting a little So you're giving tan. in to peer pressure. But then what, what difference does it make if you're going on holiday or you're putting a little bit of light fake tan on? See, when we were younger, we weren't educated like the girls are now. And fake tan is a lot safer. I'd go out into the garden as soon as there was a bit of sunshine and put the baby oil on. Mm. You know, at least my daughter is safe Sensible. Yeah. I prefer her wearing a bit of fake tan than mm. ever wanting to use a sunbed or wanting to sun herself as soon as the sun came out because it's not safe. Kate, as long as there, you're using proper Is products. there any, any... Ultimately, as Kate was saying, and we've been talking about this all this morning, if you're going to school and actually at that period of time where you are feeling self-conscious, that as Francine says, you're going to start... So your skin's going to start changing. If you get some confidence, which means you can then concentrate more in class because you're not just thinking about the fact that your legs are too white or pasty or you, your blemishes are showing up, then actually won't that help the concentration? Won't that help a focus on no, the... There is too much focus in our education system already on uh, feel good, me, 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 and that sort of thing. The focus should honestly be on teaching the children so they get the knowledge. And once you get to the school, it doesn't really matter what you've got on your face, you haven't got on your face. Your focus should be on the knowledge that you're getting. It shouldn't be on okay, what, what I call the, the me, me, me culture. Which if I you're don't... feeling bad inside, mm -hmm. if you're feeling lacking in confidence, mm -hmm. You can't take in information. I don't think anyone's right. suggesting the teachers should be educating them about fake tan. The teachers are obviously focusing on the teaching. I guess the argument for fake tan and other things like mm. it um, is that it, it gives children confidence to learn and be present and take The confidence that it gives them is in projecting themselves and that's not where, what they should be okay. focusing on in school. Their fo the focus should be on gaining the knowledge, so having discussions, questioning things, um, knowing things and, and building up your future for your future life, your future career okay, and your critical she, sense and so on. They can still do that, wearing a little bit of fake tan, if that's what's going to make them feel more confident. I know if I work a lot of the time from home, I have my own business, and if I'm sitting there with no makeup on, in my dressing gown, I can't focus or feel confident to pick up that phone or write that email so, until I put a bit of makeup on. I do sympathise. Do, do you think that's a little bit sort of the fact that you were at home? and you don't feel confident to pick up the phone because the person can't see you. But, but, but it makes me feel professional mm. to be... It's not, I'm not picking up the phone to my mum, having a... a yeah. I'm talking about a professional. When I want to feel professional, to make myself look presentable and feel good, it, it could be what I'm mm. wearing as well, but I feel so much more confident, and I think a lot of us do. And look at the world we live in now with the social media. Everyone's had, got glowing tan skin. We can blame Tao, we can play, blame um, Love Island, but these 
are, ha what, you know, the times we're living in now. And I'm bet. afraid it's a bit old school. What about well, the I, fact? No, what about I think the there's fact, a problem then? with our current culture. This there me, is. me, me. There there's is. a big problem. I think what I'm thinking of, I and, and you're probably not school. wrong. You're probably not wrong, Katie. That. But I think parents are trying to navigate the way through it. Much as we'd like there to be none of this or no social media, or much we'd like them to be inspired by Einstein rather than, you know, somebody from a mm. celebrity show. The fact is that as parents, we're dealing with teenagers working out who they are. Where would you draw the line, though, Francine? So you say a little bit red of makeup. lipstick. Oh, I wouldn't say. But that's a school personal with red taste. And if you're a teacher, <laughs> they've got to have clear rules, haven't they? Yes. Makeup or no makeup, tan or no tan, jewelry or no jewelry. All... They can't start getting into all. Oh, well, I like the pink, but I don't like the but red. But the thing is, it's complicated hey, enough. You're always going to get rebellious kids. You're always going to get a child turning up with a bit of foundation or a bit of concealer. I mean, where does it stop? You know. I mean, I was always told you're not allowed to wear earrings. You're not allowed to roll up your skirt. I did it. Yeah, I got them confiscated, but it didn't stop me. And no. the thing is, you don't want... I'd rather my child be happy, go to school happy, feel confident. My daughter mm. won't go out without putting her eyebrows on. And I, I lots, actually... Lots yeah. of people getting in touch. Keeping, in, keeping across <laughs> what people are saying this morning. Topsy says, good, can't have more kids, worried about the latest fashion and how many likes they get. Young Britain's already thick down to social media and reality TV. Kerry, if school is for learning. It's not a fashion show. Don't know why anyone wants to look orange anyway. Maggie <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it's made that child more confident in their appearance, what's wrong with a bit of fake tan? Dave says, how can you tell which tan is real and which is fake? Is it the orange <laughs> hands? And how does that affect their learning? Laura's an interesting one. I'm, as an extremely <laughs> pale woman, I was teased constantly in high school mm. for looking translucent and sickly. Having a layer of fake tan and actually looking healthy boosted my confidence tenfold and stopped the unwanted comments. Mm, <laughs> it's interesting, <laughs> isn't it?